In this video, we'll be looking at alcohols. This video has been made for revision for level 2 organic chemistry in NCEA. Alcohols are all organic molecules which contain this OH group here. Some examples of alcohols are as shown. If we were to try to name these alcohols, I would have to consult the table. In the first example here, this alcohol has a longest carbon chain of just one carbon atom, so that corresponds to meth. In the second example, this molecule has a longest carbon chain which has two carbon atoms, so that corresponds to F. Now all alcohols have this ending here, A-N-O-L. So in the first example I have methanol, and my second example was ethanol. Another example is that I could have a longest chain which has seven carbon atoms, so that would correspond to HEPT. I have the alcohol functional group on the first carbon atom, so it's heptan one o if the OH was shifted to the second carbon atom, I would get heptan 2 ol If it was shifted to the third one, heptan 3 ol Now if I had to name this large molecule here, I won't panic. I'll do the same thing as before. I'll look for the longest chain of carbon atoms. And that is seven carbon atoms, so that corresponds to hept. I have an OH group on the third carbon atom, so it's still heptan 3 ol But this time I have a ethyl group hanging off the side. I know it's called an ethyl group because it's only two carbon atoms long. Two carbon atoms long corresponds to F. I add the letters YL on the end to correspond to a side group and it's at the fifth carbon atom from the left. It's not the third one from the right, it's the fifth one because I can't change my numbering system halfway through when I'm trying to name a molecule. Some reactions of alcohols. Alcohols can be oxidized using potassium permanganate or potassium dichromate. So that's permanganate and dichromate. An example here, any alcohol, react it with, say, MnO4-, that's your permanganate. Now, in a oxidation reaction, you will always form the carboxylic acid functional group. So you can see me changing it from the original structure and just tacking on the C double bond O to the OH there. The color of MnO4- is purple, and in this reaction it forms MnO2, which is a brown solid. In acidic conditions, I would end up making Mn2 plus instead, which is colorless. Acidic conditions is just shown by the little H plus there after the slash. Another example, I could have used uh, Cr2O72 minus, it doesn't actually matter. And let's say if I picked methanol as my starting alcohol, then I'd copy and paste it across. I just tack on the carboxylic acid functional group onto that and dichromate Cr2O72- actually makes Cr3+, which is green. So it's actually orange and it changes from orange to green in this reaction. Now for level 2 chem, all you need to know is that your equations are limited to something called a primary alcohol and that only primary and secondary alcohols will oxidize. Tertiary ones do not oxidize. Alcohols will also undergo reactions with SOCl2, that's thionyl chloride, PCl3, phosphorus trichloride, and PCl5, phosphorus pentachloride. And when they do that, they form a haloalkane. Now these three reagents here are called chlorinating agents. They just add Cl onto things. So if I started with any alcohol, say this one here, and I reacted it with SOCl2, all I do is I take the OH and I swap it out with the Cl because these reagents here are all chlorinating agents. They just substitute the OH group with a chlorine. Another reaction alcohols undergo is a reaction with concentrated sulfuric acid to form an alkene. Now concentrated sulfuric acid is a dehydrating reagent and what it will do is it will eliminate OH and an H. Now an elimination reaction is when two atoms or groups of atoms are removed um, across a carbon-carbon single bond and replaced with a double bond. Now when OH and H are removed, it forms water on the other side and that leaves behind um, two empty spaces here which you'll have to fill with a double bond between the two carbon atoms because every carbon atom must have four bonds. Another example is I have another, uh, another alcohol here. Same thing as before, remove OH and H of two different carbon atoms that are right next to each other. That makes water again. Stick in your double bond, but probably a good idea to tidy up your molecule. 